Good evening guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. First thing of all, I wanted to share with you the results of the copier service. Uh, of course, the service is not yet launched. It is now only running for some volunteers who are helping us in testing the service. The reason for that is we need to test the service quality. We need to make sure that there will be no interruption or any uh, error in the service. For example, until now we are still having some volunteers. Uh, when I am closing the trade in profit, but they they still uh, have the trade running on the system. And we are finding out there was some con uh, connection uh, issue and the order has not been applied on their account. So we need to fix this first. That is the reason we are using demo. It's not that we are lacking uh, self-trust uh, or confidence. It's just about we need to find uh, the best way to make sure there will be no errors or any uh, interruptions for the service. So anyway, I needed to mention also that it's, it's not just me who is uh, doing the trades. It's me and Angela as well. We are both handling this service and we are discussing the signals or the trades before going uh, in and that is the reason why the service now is actually successful because both of us me and angela are discussing the trades and we agree on it then we enter so it's all, both of us uh, decisions it's not only only me or her so we can see here that we started from fifty thousand dollars account and you can check all the history here and the account is so far on almost ten thousand dollars of profit meaning almost 20 percent uh, within less than two weeks and that is actually fantastic um, the service will be running i think hopefully by july and everyone can join sorry can join by that time but until then i will just stick to the volunteers we have right now i don't want to add more people so i hope you guys understand that now the next important thing we need to talk about is the results of the previous weekly analysis uh, video uh, it was actually very good and i'm really happy with the results the market has went almost or ex almost as i expected it to be uh, for example this uh, AUD USD trade or signal i expected it to reverse on this level exactly here as mentioned on the video and if we check IC markets here we can see that the market has actually indeed reversed on the on the given level right here here is where I said the market will reverse actually and we can see that here the market indeed reversed on this level so yeah that was actually very good and most of the signals were accurate and on point <clears throat> and for that I'm really glad and happy so let's now go and check the weekly analysis for this period of 6 may until 10th of may so we need to go to the pairs one by one to the major pairs of course so on daily chart i am on the euro usd now the euro usd is showing actually a bullish momentum here if you remember we analyzed it on weekly chart and we found that the, the, the euro usd has reversed on this weekly uh, support meaning we have here the support number one and the euro uh, the euro usd has indeed reversed here creating support number two meaning the market will actually go up a little bit and then on this resistance i'm expecting it to go down so remember i'm on the weekly chart and that might take some time so let's go back to the daily chart and see where can we expect the euro usd to actually reverse what i am expecting is let me go to the four hour chart now i'm expecting euro usd will actually it will go up till this level here and then it will reverse and now i'm on the four hour chart remember that so this is where i'm expecting the euro usd to bounce back all the way then it will hit the support level here and then the euro usd will continue going more up until hitting this resistance level let me draw exactly how it should be in my analysis like this 
So I'm expecting that the Euro USD will reach this point and then reverse to go more and more down because actually the Euro USD is showing a strong uh, bearish momentum. So this is my expectation for the Euro USD. It is it is uh, in in short time the Euro USD will be in bullish uh, momentum, but eventually or in general the Euro USD is going more down after hitting this resistance level. So it's a good idea to start buying the Euro USD on this level of 1.11911. You can buy the Euro USD and you can keep your position for almost uh, 65 pips until 1.12550 if you want to have a safe trade then from this point you can actually start selling and you can make your target if you start selling at 1.12550 you can make your take profit also on this support again so this is just for you to have a safe trading if you want to be a swing trader so you can also look for again another 65 pips and let's see if the market will move as predicted. Uh, let's go to the GPP USD. Now, of course, the pound is again making some naughty pips, and it's again one of the hardest uh, pairs to predict. Not only GPP USD, but actually almost all uh, pound pairs. All of them. You know, when the pound is uh, rising on one pair, it's actually rising on all of them. So what I'm expecting that the GBP USD, if you want to check the weekly, the GBP USD has reached here a resistance. It is actually right now on it. So my expectation is it will go up a little bit here to hit this resistance level, this resistance here. And then it should actually continue to go more down because here we have a double top so I believe that the market is on uh, bearish uh, momentum now especially seeing that we have here a strong resistance remember I'm on the weekly chart so this resistance is still keeping the position and we can see here a lot of rejection on this level I don't believe the GBP USD will break this level so most likely it will reach this resistance here and then it will start making a bearish momentum so, uh, sorry, a, a bearish reversal. So let's go to the four hour chart and see how we can predict this market movement. Now, from my point of view, the Euro USD, if you want to buy it, you need to wait the market to actually go a little bit more down. It might reverse on this resistance, but it's better if you want to buy, if you want to long the, Euro, the GPP USD, better wait for it to reach this support level here and then place your buy order on 1.31197 uh, and then place your buy and the market actually is expected to keep moving until hitting this resistance on 1.32688 that should give about 100 and almost 150 pips now of course remember it is really risky to trade the GBP USD it might be affected by any news anytime uh, especially with the recent brexit news so please be careful when you're trading the gpp usd looking at the history it's not really uh, a pair that you want to keep trade for a long time you just want to scalp this market if you want to be safe because we have a lot of uh, ranging markets for quite a long time here so again, GBP USD is not really safe to to swing trades. If you must, you can just uh, place buy on this support and exit your trade at the nearest resistance, which is here. So again, if you want to have safe trade, place buy on 1.31197 and exit your trade on 1.31776 1 and get out of the market uh, that should actually be a good trade for the gbp usd before it starts falling more down <coughs> now let's go to the aud usd <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> aud usd on the daily chart has bounced on this very strong support level 
and we can see now there is a strong uh, bullish reversal happening here and we have here a resistance happened this week but i don't think the AUD USD will reverse on this resistance i don't see this happening most likely AUD USD will continue going more up until hitting this resistance level here and then it will continue to fall more down so uh, let's go to the four hour chart and uh, let me just mark this level here just to make sure and clear so yes exactly here exactly right here and we can see here we have a double bottom happened on the AUD USD so if you want to buy the AUD USD right now is not the right moment because AUD USD is hitting a small resistance right here so I believe it will reverse and if you want to place a, a buy order on the AUD USD your best option in my opinion will be right here like that wait for the pair to make a small pullback right on this level and then place here your buy on 0 0.70063 and I believe the AUD USD should actually start making a strong bullish uh, reversal until this resistance level here and from this point here we should see the AUD USD start to fall more down so if you want to have a safe trade you can place your buy option here and exit at the nearest resistance which is actually this is not, not not the nearest resistance this is the nearest resistance but this is actually if you want to be a swing trade to, to do to do some swing trades this is the level where you actually better to exit your trade and it is actually kind of good it's gonna give you about 50 pips of profit so no need to be greedy but anyway this is how i believe the AUD USD will move on this uh, way of movement so the pullback it will go up to this resistance and then it will uh, resume the bearish uh, reversal and it will, co it will go down let's go now to the USD CAD all right so the USD CAD we can see it has actually reversed on this resistance like it's not able to break from it this resistance here the pair has tried to break from this resistance it, it made a fake breakout but again it went back uh, below this resistance and it made another first, uh, another second attempt on it but eventually it just continued to go more down so basically the AUD USD uh, sorry the USD CAD has failed to break from this resistance that means the pair will be now on a bearish momentum so it is currently on bearish it's gonna be on bearish for some time but eventually it will be good for buy and from my point of view this support level here just give me a moment I need to check where is exactly the best support level on this pair if you want to see it go to the 4 hour chart this is actually I believe this is a very good strong support level yes it is very strong support level and that is right so let me tell you something now for the AU, for the USD CAD since I'm on the 4 hour chart uh, we can see the pair made the, mo the move up to this level up to the resistance right here yes and it made it up to here also as well so I believe the USD CAD will be going in a bearish momentum until hitting this support I think it will even break this support and it's gonna bounce right on this support let me just check it out again just need to be sure uh, this might be actually a little bit tricky because uh, the USD CAD in general is actually going down but eventually it will actually continue to go more up to hit this resistance level so we need to make sure how or where we should uh, start uh, shorting the USD CAD actually it might go a little bit more up my advice for you if the USD CAD on Monday went up here 
starts selling once once it's reached this resistance level exactly right here right here exactly if it uh, went up here start selling and if you want to have a safe trade you can exit your trade at this support here so we can look for about uh, 55 pips of profit but I believe after that it's gonna break this level here I don't think it will uh, hold the position on it it might break from this level uh, I, I think it should go all the way down to this support here on this support level here but that might take a long time so um, yes I believe it will go down all the way here not this support sorry no it will go here and then it should continue fly, uh, flying and go more up and again we are on the daily uh, on the four hour chart and if you want to see it on daily you will see it more clear that the pair is now actually on a bearish reversal it should go down to hit this support level and then because you see here we have this very strong support level it was actually a strong support and a strong resistance level as well so this is the strong level here I believe that the USD CAD should reach it and then it will start reaching up all the way to this resistance level as well let's go now to the USD GPY all right so the USD GPY if we look carefully here we can see a strong support right here so the USD GPY is actually right now on a bearish reversal or a bearish momentum and most likely it will break from this support here and it will continue moving more down and in my opinion this level is a very strong support as well and it was here a strong support I believe it will reverse here so if you want to start buying the USD GPY it's a good idea to start buying it on 110.664 and you can exit your trade at the nearest uh, on the strong resistance level on this uh, 112.390 that should give about approximately 157 pips of profit but of course that is for extreme swing trades I don't like to keep my trades running for that time I'm just giving you a signal if you want to place your buy order for the USD GPY um, it's not the right time to sell here you can, if you want to buy the, Euro, the USD GPY this is the level where it is actually in my opinion more safe to place your buy and you can keep your position until this resistance level here on 111.510 it is actually more safe to keep trading only for that period and it should be about 90 90 pips of profit which is more than fine so yeah that is my point of view on the usd gpy now moving to the nzd usd nzd usd is one of the pairs that uh, the members keep asking me to to analyze it even though i don't i'm not a big fan of the nzd usd in general i don't like to trade the nzd because it's just moving very slowly and it's not i don't know i don't know the reason it's just uh, I find it so much uh, how can I say that I it's, it's hard to explain <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable trading in ZD but anyway since uh, my friends asking me to do the analysis I will do it so from my point of view it's uh, it's very obvious that the NZD USD is right now on a bearish uh, sorry in a bullish momentum and it just reversed from this support level it is going up now I think it will keep moving until hitting this level of the resistance right here right here exactly right here below yes exactly so this is the level on on 0 0.67135 uh, the NZD USD will be on a bullish uh, momentum until hitting this level and then it should actually start moving all the way down till it hit the support level on uh, let's see on 0 0.64434 so we are looking for approximately 251 pips of profit yeah I will never keep my trade running for that period 
if you want to have a safe trade for the NZD USD, you can just it, um, place your trade, place sell order on 0 0.67135 and exit your trade right on 0 0.66136. It should be about 90 pips of profit, which is more than enough and no need to keep your trade running for longer time than that. Last analysis will be for the USDCHF. As I mentioned in the last video, USDCHF is not really recommended to trade because it's ranging on the resistance level. Uh, if we check the weekly chart, we can see it's still ranging. It has been range. It has been ranging for the whole week, so it just barely made any uh, movement at all. Now, we see here a lot of rejection with these uh, with these weeks on the top of this reversal, so most likely the USDCHF is not able to break from this uh, resistance what I believe is it's gonna go more down and it will reverse so let me tell you no need to go for long uh, or very far future if you must sell the, U the USDCHF you must uh, sell it only if you see it actually break from this level of 1.01642 if you see it actually break from this level and then going more up to retest it and then if you see a price action showing that the market is reversing then start selling right here sell on 1.01642 start selling USDCHF I believe USDCHF is good for sell from this point until until the support here on 1.00726 it should give about 90 pips of profit actually it is quite interesting trade I might enter it myself and keep the trade running for quite a long time because I don't think the USDCHF is making any bullish reversals at the moment uh, I, I see it going down for a long time for a few days before it actually uh, start going more up and to retest again this resistance and actually eventually I believe it should break from this resistance so it will just make a small bounce until this point now I'm on the weekly chart I believe it will just it will just make a small bounce here yes exactly here and then it will continue it it should actually break this resistance I think it will break it eventually but this will take long time we are talking about more than two or three weeks in my opinion until it will finally reach this resistance here so guys that was my um, weekly analysis from the period of 6 May until 10th of May I hope it will be accurate as always and I hope it will help you a lot in your trading for this week please share with us uh, your experience and your uh, results following this uh, analysis and let me know if it's helpful for you and it's helping you in your trading if you are using it if you are somehow uh, deciding your trade based on it please I need a review guys from your side so shall I continue this uh, series of the weekly analysis or should not I I need your feedback it's really important it's the reason and it's the motivation for me to continue doing these weekly analysis videos or not so guys until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.